What's up, everyone? Vince and Janito here, breaking down the Prey trailer from QuakeCon 2016. And uh, we're going to stop right here uh, already. So he just said that his name was uh, Morgan, the main character. Now, it's important to understand that Morgan is, uh, is a gender-neutral name. And that's actually because the character can be played as a male or a female, which uh, Arcane Studios president uh, Rafael Colantonio already confirmed in uh, previously uh, from QuakeCon 2016. So even though you hear the voice of a man and you're going to see a man, you can actually play as either one. And... Going on where he says it's 2034. Um, 2034 is when this kind of part of the story, I guess, takes place. Uh, in the gameplay demonstration that I saw... Um, he kind of wakes up in 2035, and that's when things have kind of, like, gone all to heck. Um, so, yeah, let's keep going. And keep my main purpose of doing this rewind is going to be to point out to you folks at home some of the things that just seem like incidental details in this uh, video that actually the gameplay presentation that I was shown that was private for attendees at QuakeCon, uh, there are things that I saw there that definitely shed more of a light on... Uh, what's going on in this trailer? Because honestly, this trailer does not tell a, a very detailed story of like how Prey actually plays this time around. So, first things first, um, the first thing you see of gameplay here, and this is kind of weird, is a gun. And the reason I say that's kind of weird is because um, on stage, Rafael Colantonio actually said during the presentation, he's like, yeah, uh, there's lots of different ways to solve problems in Prey. Uh, weapons are one of them, but he said weapons are actually going to be pretty rare, so expect not to find that many weapons, uh, and if you do, to not have that much ammunition for them. Uh, they'll be more so than, say, like your average like survival game. It definitely is still a bit of a shooter, but don't expect to solve most of your problems just by sheer force. Now, speaking of other ways to solve your problems, what is this scary-looking thing that's coming dangerously close to the player's face? Um, this is a neuromod. This is one of two different ways that you'll be able to um, alter yourself and gain new abilities. Uh, this was actually a shot right from the gameplay demonstration. And you stick these things in your eye, and you can basically invest points down different trees of traits like scientist or engineer. Uh, the game has a lot of RPG elements, which none of which are really shown at all off in this game, uh, in this game trailer. Uh, this Neuromod is kind of the only little hint at it. So yeah, you inject this thing into your eye, and then whoa, you alter your brain waves, and you can um, change uh, core attributes of yourself, like how good you are with different kinds of weapons, um, your melee damage, things like that, normal RPG type stuff. Um, so yeah, there will also be abilities that you can gain from uh, examining... Uh, some of your alien enemies, and those are totally different kinds of abilities. Speaking of alien enemies, voila, uh, we have the Phantom. Um, and you would think the Phantom is called the Phantom because he looks all shadowy and mysterious and stuff, but actually um, all the enemies that you face, at least all the enemies that we've seen so far, look shadowy and mysterious. They seem to be make up, made up of this smoke-like substance. Um, the Phantom is actually so named because uh, you have a fight with they show a fight with two phantoms in the gameplay demonstration that I saw, and they kind of teleport all the way all all over the place, con causing like electromagnetic disruptions everywhere they go, uh, kind of like this guy's doing here down this hallway as he walks. Um, yeah. So then here we show we see some um, we see a door opening up out into space. This would be the exterior of Talos One, which is the space station orbiting uh, the moon. I believe it's our moon, because at one point in this trailer, I think you see kind of a shot of Earth in the background. So yeah, it opens up this door, and yeah, bam, we're in this zero-G area. Um, and that's not just for show. Uh, there's a large part of the game that can take place uh, outside of the outside of the space station in zero gravity. Um, you can traver traverse it. All right, this is a really key important moment here. So these are some uh, some of the more common enemies that you'll see, these little four-legged guys who look surprisingly like um, Half-Life head crabs are called Mimics, and they get their name right from here. Okay, you see this um, this Mimic just jumped off a wall and then transformed into an office chair. Um, and usually, I mean, someone should tell these Mimics Guys, if you want to hide in the environment as plain objects, you probably shouldn't transform into said object right in front of the camera. I mean, just that's just not the way to do it. Nor normally, the way this goes, and again, I saw this in my gameplay demonstration, uh, the way this would work is you would uh, walk into an area, and you all you'd see is an office chair just sitting around. And then 
you'd walk up closer to it and whoop, and it would become a mimic and it would start wailing away at you. Um, so you kind of have to be very paranoid as you're. I'm going to be so scared walking through these corridors. And everything, every item that you see, every loose item like a coffee cup or a plate. Those can all be a mimic, and they can just transform at any time. So you kind of always have to have your wits about you. No Here's another shot of a phantom. That looks like you're just seeing a phantom up close, and ooh, he's like, oh, I'm scary, look at me. But there is something important going on in the background here. Um, it's uh, If you look um, to the left-hand side, uh, that wall back there has kind of that cementy, rocky type. Uh, it's up in a diagonal uh, going up to that second floor. Um, that's actually directly from uh, an actual weapon you get in the game called the Glue Cannon, and this was shown off extensively in the uh, gameplay demonstration that I saw. So the Glue Cannon does a bunch of different things. It can freeze enemies in place. It can close, like, leaky vents that are, like, venting flammable gas into the air. Uh, but another thing they can do is you can fire it along walls and create makeshift platforms and stairwells. So you can see here someone has used the Glue Cannon to uh, make a, uh, a route from this floor up to that next one which I think is pretty cool. Um, so again, this is more zero-G on the outside of Talos 1. Um, here's a Mimic. It looks like it's going... You see, now, what's interesting about this, I didn't see anything... I did not see any other humanoids besides Morgan during my... Uh, except dead ones. I did see some dead humans. But I didn't see any ones that are still alive and were being terrorized like this. Um, and you can just as easily imagine playing the full game and it being, you know, with a HUD up. And, like, this is like you walking up to a door and seeing a scripted event of some human getting messed up. Now, this looks kind of like a Mimic, but much kind of larger than the average Mimic and also with longer arms, but maybe they can change their size. I don't know. But what's interesting here is he's not just, like, taking a swipe at this guy. It looks like he's putting his tentacle all the way down his throat. Now, I don't know if that's just to kill him and it's just for dramatic fashion or if that is... Um, we know that, like, to some degree, uh, Morgan has been infected with something because we saw in the last trailer that uh, he kept looking at his eye and his eye got progressively redder and redder. There's some kind of experiments being held here at Talos 1. We don't really know what's going on, but we think it's possible uh, that... Um, this alien threat is not only an alien threat, but that they are using us to maybe spread a disease of some kind. I don't know. That's just speculation on my part. Um, and this guy is just having a bad day. I don't know what his deal is. Um, now here in combat, we can see uh, this is just a. Again, this is like one of those like longer mimics. I didn't uh, I didn't actually see this environment in my uh, the gameplay demonstration that was shown to me. Although. Um, He's taking swipes at, Morgan is taking swipes at this enemy with a wrench, and that is something I saw. That's how the, the gameplay demo that I saw started out. Now here, um, what we have, it, you can see there, uh, a little bit to the left there, is an actual, is an enemy that's not one of these shadowy guys. That's actually a sentinel uh, robot of some kind, like a sentry robot, uh, and part of the demo was... Uh, was about just evading those guys in some interesting, fun ways. And this is a shotgun, which was also briefly in our demo. You can see, I love how large they they show the amount of ammo you have in the current clip and and that you have overall. Imagine a real, sh I mean, like, yeah, like games, like FPSs have certainly done this before, but it's like, it's just massive on the side of the weapon. Could you imagine? I would just love if in real life one day we have guns like this because it's just funny. And here you get a little bit of a better look at that robot. Um, yeah. Um... So moving along, he's fighting a phantom. He's fighting some mimics. This big guy, let's back up right here. This big guy looks like uh, what they refer to as a nightmare in the uh, in the gameplay demo. This is how the gameplay demo ends, is uh, this nightmare busting into a room and messing you up. So, yeah, that's about all we have um, in terms of... Uh, analysis here. Again, I feel like this this uh, gameplay trailer is, I don't want to say it's misleading, but to call it a gameplay trailer is a little bit of a misnomer because it doesn't really show a lot of the elements of the game. There are so many unique and amazing powers you get to use, and the, the trailer kind of doesn't show off any of them. The trailer kind of makes it look like it's a straight-up shooter, but believe me, Prey is anything but a straight-up shooter, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, that's all we've got for the Prey gameplay trailer from QuakeCon 2016. For more on Prey, keep it right here on IGN.